Hello there. My name is Peter Thompson and I've been teaching golf now for about 46 years and teaching to me is the best single part of the game. I used to enjoy playing golf tremendously. I was pretty good at playing golf but now I just teach all the time and these DVDs hope it will be an expansion to my golf lessons. This is my studio on the sunny south coast of England. You can probably see the sun behind streaming through the doors. It's a gorgeous day outside. I'm in my studio now to produce a DVD for you about the the myths of golf or, or some of the myths of golf. There are many many myths in golf that if you apply them to your golf game can be extremely damaging. This DVD will cover just three of the myths and in future DVDs we will cover many many more. But this one will stay with just, just three. The first one is the idea that when you hit the ball you should stay behind the ball. I've heard this many many times, I'm sure you have as well, that it is essential to stay behind the ball. Well, I'm going to prove to you that you do not need to have that thought in your mind because with that thought in your mind it can be quite damaging as you'll be unable to swing through the ball correctly. Don't forget golf is a hitting the golf ball forward game. You hit the ball forward with all the different golf clubs and then the, the loft of the golf club sends the ball in the air and the length of the shaft gives you different club head speeds to hit the ball further or shorter. So we're going to talk about staying behind the ball. If I address the ball, the ball is going to be maybe two inches inside the left heel for most of my shots and my head will therefore be behind the ball as you can clearly see. My head now is between the ball and my right heel. In the backswing my head will probably shift a little bit to the right so my head is now even further behind the ball. If I try and keep it there, and this, this is a big problem, if I try and keep my head behind the ball I'll wind up not being able to swing forward. Yes, your head is behind the ball at address. Yes, your head is behind the ball when you swing back. Yes, your head will be behind the ball when you hit the ball with a good goal swing, but you shouldn't try and stay behind the ball. It's immensely damaging. Stay him, staying behind the ball means you simply can't swing the club forward correctly. So I'm going to show you on my computer screen three or four brilliant golfers and yes they are behind the ball when they hit the ball but they are not trying consciously to stay behind the ball and nor should you. We'll go and have a look. So we'll examine one or two uh, golf swings of professional golfers. And here's Justin Rose, a very, very popular golfer. And I'm going to draw a line from the ball, a vertical line from the ball. And in virtually every normal stance, your head at address will be behind the ball. In the backswing, We'll play this through quite slowly. His head's gone a fraction to the right, not very far, but his head is still behind the ball. If he makes a good movement forward with his knees and his hips and his chest, moving left and turning round, at the moment of impact, coming up soon, there's the impact, and yes, his head is behind the ball. He will not, however, try and stay there. So the head now has gone forward of that line. So yes, at address, the head is behind the ball. Yes, at the top of the backswing, his head is behind the ball. And yes, when he hits the ball, his head is behind the ball. But he will not consciously try and stay behind the ball. That's a perfect example.
We will now look at uh, the world's current number one golfer, Tiger Woods. I'm sure he's here somewhere. Come on, Tiger, where have you gone to? Found him. So, current top golf in the world, and we'll, we'll look at the swing in, in, in detail several times. Just to the right of his head, left on the screen, there's a lady standing behind him, I think she's holding the umbrella, the blonde lady, and her head is just alongside Tiger Woods' head. Let's see when Tiger Woods hits the ball, where his head is, compared to where her head is. And as you can see, his head is still behind the ball, you can't see it entirely from this angle, but his head is still behind the ball, but his head has moved to the left. There's a gap between his head and her head. And that happens moving forward, because if you watch behind Tiger Woods, there's the letter G. And prior to hitting the golf ball, ball still on the ground, in fact still on the tee peg, and the G has disappeared, so he's driving forward, but his head is behind the ball because it was behind the ball when he addressed the ball. Then it goes a long way forward. So it is quite wrong to consciously try and stay behind the ball. Just let your head go as the swing goes. Let's go back in time now to Walter Hagen, back in the 1920s, and Walter Hagen was a brilliant golfer. He won 11 major championships. By the way, he won the US Open in 1914 and 1919. He won the British Open in 1922, 24, 28 and 29. And he won the US PGA Championships in 1921, 24, 25, 26 and 27. So 11 major championships. Fantastic good golfer. I think in this clip he's playing a little punch shot and his head is just behind the ball and this is a very old film so the cameras move slightly so I'm going to move the line back on to where the ball is now and when he hits the ball his head or most of his head is in front of the ball so he's trying to hit the ball nice and low probably into a bit of a breeze so to do that he's having to move further forward than normal so when he hits the ball his head is in front of the ball and continues. So in a normal golf swing the head's going to finish more or less over the left leg. It's quite hard to finish over your left leg if you're trying to stay behind the ball. So please don't try and stay behind the ball because if you do it will simply inhibit the whole of the forward swing and probably the back swing as well. So staying behind the ball is not a good plan because it simply stops you driving forward, moving forward, turning round. Head is behind the ball for sure when you dress the ball. At the end of the swing wants your head directly over your left leg. You should be able to take your right foot off the ground because your weight is entirely on your left leg. Remember Gary Player used to walk forward? Walk forward. Great idea. Hard to walk forward if your head is staying behind the book. Let your head go.